The Nigeria Governors Forum has assured of its commitment to be part of the country's constitutional review process. This development is part of a broader effort to reform the 1999 Constitution, which has been a subject of debate and review since 2007. TVC News Northern Deputy Chief Bureau Chief Femi Akonde reports. The governors are paying attention to the ongoing constitutional review at the National Assembly. With the clock ticking down to the December 2025 deadline, the House of Representatives Constitution Review Committee faces mounting pressure. Governors are seeking an update on the progress of the 40 proposed alteration bills, currently at various stages of consideration. After briefing the Nigeria Governors Forum, the Deputy Speaker, accompanied by principal officers of the House of Representatives, is impressed with the Governor's strong political will to ensure the constitution alteration process succeeds. This comes after successive efforts by the 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th and 8th Assembly to amend various sections of the constitution. The Governor's made beautiful contributions and they are in support of the Constitution Review. Um, we also let them know, inform them that we are going to be visiting their states and the geopolitical zones to harvest the opinion of the public in their various uh, zones. The Nigeria Governors Forum was also briefed by the Minister of Education on strategies to reposition Nigeria's education system for improved outcomes. Governor of Kaduna State disclosed on behalf of his colleagues that the meeting discussed an enhanced synergy between the federal and state government. Key proposals discussed include strengthening collaboration between the federal and state governments, improving the quality of girl child education, integrating for vocational training, and leveraging data and technology to enhance education management systems. The governors refrained from making a definitive statement on the proposed tax reform bills following the National Economic Council's earlier advice to President Bola Tinubu to withdraw the bills and facilitate broader consultations and consensus. Tax reforms uh, have not been uh, uh, concluded. We started deliberation at this meeting but uh, the consultation is still ongoing. And I have no doubt in my mind in our next meeting we should be able to come out with a position. The fate of President Bola Tinubu's proposed tax reform bills will be decided soon. But he and his team remain adamant that the legislation serves Nigeria's best interests, promising to boost economic growth and development. Femi Akonde, TVC News, Abuja. Staying in Abuja, governors of the All Progressives Congress say they will engage the National Assembly in its consideration of the proposed tax reform bills. Chairman of the Forum, Governor Hopu Zodima, briefed a journalist after a three-hour closed meeting of the APC governors, which also focused on national issues. Senior reporter Habida Lawal reports. President Bola Tinubu on 3rd of October transmitted four tax reform bills to the National Assembly. The bills are the Nigerian Tax Bill 2024, the Nigerian Tax Administration Bill, the Nigerian Revenue Service Establishment Bill, and the Joint Revenue Board Establishment Bill. These bills have stirred controversy and is faced with stiff resistance from some interest groups. The APC governors say what should be important for everyone should be how to ensure the implementation of programs and policies that will lead to economic prosperity. We discussed issues of national importance on how best to support and encourage the federal government with their various reform programs, support our party. We reviewed the last two elections in a those state and on those states, assessed our performances, and then uh, resolved to work more to impress Nigerians who, in their wisdom, voted us to power. Of course, yes, we of course we cannot meet without looking at it. But you know, like all of us are aware. The bill is already with the National Assembly. We will uh, 
liaison with National Assembly to strengthen the engagements and then look at the bill and then come out with something that will please and protect our national interest. These bills, when passed into law, will overall tax administration and revenue generation in Nigeria. Habida Lawal, TVC News, Abuja. Let's now turn our attention to Jigawa State, where weeks after the devastating tanker explosion in Majia Town, the investigation committee has submitted its report to the state government. Based on that report, 209 persons were killed, 38 still hospitalized, and 86 others have fully recovered. Yusuf is our report. It's six weeks since the devastating Majia tanker explosion in Jigawa State, northwestern Nigeria. The explosion caused significant loss of lives, with many hospitalized. This tragic incident happened when a fuel tanker overturned while trying to avoid crashing into a truck near the town of Majia in Jigawa State. Today, the investigation committee set by the Jigawa State government submits its report to the state governor. Your Excellency, it was established that the incident was caused by a number of factors, including damage speed breaker, the portals located near the scene, night driving, over speeding, amongst others. Unfortunately, many villagers attempted to scoop up the spilled patrol, which led to a devastating fire and explosion. The inferno was most possibly ignited by combined factors, including but not limited to prisons of metallic containers with hard surface as victims were scooping the spilled fuel. The Jigawa State Governor, Umar Namadi, after receiving the reports of the 25-member investigation committee, pledges full implementation of the report findings. The report, as read by the chairman, is precise, concise, and address all the issues that is required. And I want to assure you that government will carefully study this report and implement it. The remains of the victims have since been buried in a mass grave. Staying in the northwest, Governor of Kebbi State, Nasri Idris, has issued a stern warning to bandits and their accomplices to steer clear of the state. Governor Idris gave this warning following the attack on Mera in Ogin local government area, which killed 17 persons. The governor says his administration will deal decisively with criminalities. He appeals to residents to report suspicious activities to the authorities. When the incident happened, we have made our position very clear to the federal government. And the federal government, through the Office of Chief of Defense Staff and NSA, has taken through active measures by sending security agencies to the affected areas. And the Kebri state government has also do the needful to ensure that the security agencies are not liking anything. We have provided vehicles, security vehicles before. And uh, we look at it that based on what we saw on ground, we have decided also to add additional vehicles. We shift focus to Ogun State, where the Sultan of Sokoto and President General of the Nigeria Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Saad Abubakar, has asked Nigerians to embrace unity and avoid religious division. The Sultan emphasized that Nigeria is one and will continue to be united, regardless of online speculations. He says the current economic situation affects everyone, and Nigerians must not allow religion or ethnicity to divide them. We are in the religion. We are Muslims. We are Christians. We are. Uh, well, I won't say Babalao. <laughs> Anybody else? But that religion is not in our hearts. Because if you are a good Muslim, 
you not go and kill somebody, you not go and kill somebody, you not go and uh, bomb somebody, you not go and take innocent person's life. When you know what Islam said about taking an individual's life. So, well, we are in religions, as Christians, Muslims, whatever, but the religion is not in our hearts. Poverty is not only the problem we have in Nigeria, issue of insecurity is even there. And it's telling us uh, in the face. And we have to really confront insecurity headlong so that uh, all of us will live in peace. Southwest um, Muslim community, typified by Muslim, has a lot, a lot, a lot to do in terms of fostering unity. On the proposed task reform bill, I urge Mr. President to listen to the outcries for various groups and sections of the country. The current economic situation in the country requires serious caution to handle. The government should show more human feelings and put measures in place to mitigate the general suffering brought on the citizenry by some of the economic policies.